Okay, uh, a few days ago I was able to catch the moon. It was the day before the full moon in January. And as you can see, my 300 millimeter uh, lens didn't catch a very big moon. But I'm going to show you how I've edited it. And again, free software, which is always good. In fact, I liked it better than what I was getting out of Lightroom. So here you see the moon. Let's zoom into it. Okay, I'll, I'll show you my uh, settings in my camera. I took about 26 pictures before I got it right. Okay, it was a Nikon camera. Lens was an AF SDX vibration reduction Nikkor 55 to 300, 4.5 to 5.6. I was at 300 millimeter. Exposure one two hundredth of a second, which really surprised me shooting at nighttime. F stop ten, ISO two fifty. I probably should have done a low, lower ISO. Uh, and spot metering. Yeah, a lot of videos out there on the internet telling you how to set up your camera. In fact, I saw one do it with a point and shoot. So, um, I'm gonna, this time I'm going to do Picasso's. I hope to do a part two with GIMP. And it's pretty, pretty simple. Let's zoom out a little bit. We'll start by cropping it. Doing a square crop. It's really hard to center it, <laughs> even when I'm in full screen mode. One of the problems with Picasso is that way. Let's click apply. Now, uh, one problem I did have with my camera, it was worse in the raw image. Can't see it too much here. There's some red uh, chromatic aberrations on this side, green on this side. I had the software to remove it, but this is the JPEG straight out of the camera. But to edit it, I uh, it was a little too light for me, so I went into uh, the second tab, really brought up the shadows. I lose a little detail over here if I have the shadows too high. And that's where the cool shadows are on the crater. Zoom in a little bit. And see all the way I've lost a little bit right there. Bring that down. Fill light. Too much, I blow it out. So I try to keep the uh, fill light to a minimum. Kind of neat. Got that big old crater, a few streaks going across it. Now, the one problem I had with it, I'd like it a little sharper. sharper. But when I do that, I get a little texture I don't like. Almost looks like cardstock paper. 
Now I love the effect it did to the craters, but what it did to the shadows here I didn't like. So we'll bring it back down a little bit. Just so it highlights the craters. And we click apply. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Very short and sweet. Um, you can go to black and white if you get the uh, chromatic aberrations too. I don't like it because it makes the image look a little flat. So we'll undo that. This has a little bit of a yellowish orange tint, which I prefer. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop this for now. Feel free to ask questions. <laughs> it's really that simple. You crop, adjust, <laughs> and sharpen. <laughs> One, two, three. So, hope you get some good out of this. Okay, here we are in part two of my January moon. Okay, I've brought the image in to GIMP. As you can see, small. So we're going to try to do something about it. First thing I'm going to do is come down here, add an alpha channel. All I did was right click and it's no longer in bold. Safety sake, we duplicate the layer and we're going to zoom into the moon. So let's zoom out a little bit by hitting the minus key. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go over here and click the crop tool. We want a fixed uh, ratio. And I'm going to put in one colon one so we get a square cropping. I'm going to go over here where it says guides. I'm going to use center lines. It'll give me a chance to even this up. Okay, that looks good and we hit enter. Maybe a little off. Let me try that one more time. Probably about the best I can get, especially for a video. Okay, that affected both copies, so, oh well. And I noticed in Picasso's there was only the three sliders that got me thinking, well, why don't I go into colors and play with the levels? And we don't see much here, so I'm going to hit the logarithmic histogram. Gives me an idea of where the colors are at. There's one little peak right there. It stops about right there. And then we're just going to take the uh, middle slider and darken it the way we want. I'm going to go a little darker.
Yeah, that might be a little too dark. Let's cancel out of that and zoom in some. Okay, here we are, 100%. Now this will not make a good print because it's not that big. But it's good enough for the web. Colors, levels. Just that a hair. Okay, that's probably good there, because we're going to add some layers to this. And we're going to duplicate this. In the layer mode, I'm going to use multiply. So come in here. Multiply, and we back off the that looks pretty good. And if we actually need, I don't like doing this too much because it will degrade the image. Yeah, pump up the contrast just a hair. That looks good. Click OK. Zoom out. And that looks pretty good. So let's uh, create a well, new from visible. So I've added a, a layer that's uh, just a copy of these three. And I'm going to double this just for fun. I was goofing off and I love this. Let's go over here to uh, burn. <laughs> now we got a moon that's made of Swiss cheese. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. Okay, I got off on a tangent, and I'm just going to go back. Okay. Um, if you got a, even a point-and-shoot that's got a really good zoom on it, uh, you might want to check out some videos, see if there's one that will teach you how to shoot the moon with it. I was almost on daytime settings. In fact, I probably was. Uh, it amazed me how much detail I could get. So, I hope you enjoyed.